Hi, and welcome back to uh, Go to SolidWorks. What we are going to have a look at today is having a go at making this trellis table here. Um, uh, we've got a range of parts in here. So we've got a uh, wooden top. We've then got a um, sheet metal uh, underlayer base that's going to support and hold that. Um, we've then got this sort of hinge, this flange mechanism here that goes through, um, which is going to support uh, the legs. Um, which is going to be screwed into the under base of the wood, and then two legs which are going to be bolted together. Um, so we've got a bit of a use of standard um, uh, solid modeling, some sheet metal um, here to make these two middle parts, and then just standard solid modeling. And then also some importing of uh, nuts and bolts to finish it off. So we're going to run through that um, in these next few tutorials. So we're going to start off with the top to, to get us going. Um, this wooden top plate here. So let's have a go at that. So I'm going to open up a new model, um, uh, a new parts model. We'll OK that. And we get straight on to having a go at this top. So um, uh, we want to start from the origin. Uh, we're going to pick a plane to model on. Let's do the top plane like so. And I'm going to sketch on that top plane. OK. I'm going to use my uh, corner rectangle to get us started. So I'm going to go to the origin and drag this out like so. Now I want this to be uh, 600 by 300. And then I'm going to just extrude that up. So it's going to be 45 mil thick. So I go to features and extrude that up. Um, I'm going to go up 45 mil. That gives me the um, cuboid that I want, so sort of the shape that I'm after. I don't want to round this top corner off, so I'm just going to put a fillet on this top face. So I can literally uh, click the top face. Ooh, that didn't that line. Click the top face, and it will do every line on that top face, like so. Um, if we make sure that the full preview is selected so we can see it, if it's clicked no preview, it'll just highlight the blue face and won't actually show us anything. So we need to do make sure full preview is selected. And then if we move further down, we can see here the parameters that we want for our fillet. It's currently set at 10. I'm just going to drop that down to 5 milli. Okay, it will make this radius a little bit smaller um, and be about right for what we want. And you can see what we've got there, like so. Now I'm going to put some holes underneath for us to um, uh, screw into, so just sort of pilot holes. Um, so if I come onto this bottom face, um, like so. So just to get that uh, selection up, that box up, for us to select our faces, it's just a space bar, quick, quick command. And then we can click on what face we want to move to. So I'm on this bottom face. I'm just going to click Sketch. That'll now allow me to sketch on that bottom face. And I'm just going to drop in a center line. The center line is going to go from the center of my shorter side, my 300 mil side, all the way across to the other side, like so. Now, this just gives me a line that I can drop some circles onto, like so. OK. Um, it means that I don't have to dimension up the distance from the edge to each circle. I put that center line in so they're fastened and attached to that. All I need to dimension up is how far I want them along. So my first one is going to be 50 along. And my second one from the same edge, so my datum edge here, this datum edge, is going to be uh, 320 along. Like so. Do need to set the size of these. Uh, they are going to be 10, so 10 milli diameter. Once I've set one and I'm happy with that, if I click on it, click the next one, hold control and click the next one, it brings up the relationships I can use. Uh, so what I'm going to do is say I want both of these circles to be equal to each other. So click on that and it'll make them the same size. So now if I come out of that sketch, and go to features, and I, this time I'm going to cut into this material. So cut, um, and I'm going to go up 35, and tick. Okay, 
So that gives me a hole, two holes now in the bottom of there for where I am going to put some bolts into later or some screws into later on. Um, I also want to designate the material for this. Now there's a couple of ways I can do it. I can right click and select material or if I go down to the drop down bar at the side, I can right click on materials option, edit the material and this will change the material for the whole thing. So I could search a material, uh, let's say oak and it will bring up a wood oak option and it will give me the information for that. I can apply it to it like so here and it will now in the background, you can see that it's changed color to show that it has applied that material. Um, you might want to change it to whatever color, any material you want. I've just decided to use oak for this quickly. So that's my first piece done. I need to save that. So uh, I'm going to save that as, um, uh, let's call it tabletop. So now you'll see I've got previous components saved here. Um, I'm just going to call it tabletop to save. Now um, uh, I've got my tabletop. I'm going to move on to do the underplate, the plate that's going to sit underneath this tabletop. 